Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to install and set up SQL specifically for SOLIDWORKS PDM Professional. First, open up the installation folder containing the SQL files. If you do not have these, please contact your local SOLIDWORKS reseller. You'll see there's a setup application file which you can right click and select run as administrator. On the first pop-up dialog box on the left, click on the installation tab. Then select new SQL server standalone installation. You can now close that dialog box. You will see the installation for SQL Server 2014 setup wizard has begun. You can select use Microsoft update to check for updates click next. Here is a list of rules that have been run to ensure that specific components are met before the installation can continue. Please have a look at all of the warnings and if you have any errors please do resolve them before continuing. Then because I'm doing a fresh install of SQL I will select perform a new installation of SQL Server 2014 and click next. Make sure you have entered the correct product key. Before continuing, please read and accept the license terms. Then specify SQL Server feature installation on the feature selection page. Select the features you would like to install. Select Database Engine Services. Then under Shared Features, select Client Tools Connectivity. Integration Services. Client Tools Backward Compatibility. Documentation Components. And then both of the options for Management Tools. Then you are going to specify an instance for your SQL server. In this case, I will select PDM Pro. And you'll see the instance ID automatically populates. Then click Next. Here for your different SQL services, make sure on the right hand side in the startup type column that you have set all the startups to be automatic. Then click next. This is your database engine configuration page. Here you will set up login information. For this type of installation I will select mixed mode. So I will create a user called SA and specify a password. Using my Windows Active Directory, I can either add users one by one by using the add function or I can just select add current user and it will automatically populate my Windows user I'm logged in with at the moment. Then click next. Here you will see a summary of what is going to be installed, then click install. Once the installation is complete, you will receive a pop-up dialog box saying that the installation is complete and that the components have succeeded. If anything has failed, please review the log files and troubleshoot accordingly.